Yeah, and it, it works good. Well, you know, you may have heard of the raw diet, but did you know that it's gaining in popularity? But what exactly does a raw diet consist of? Well, Kirsten Carey, the owner of Nourish Restaurant, she says, you know what? If it's sweet, it may not be good for you, and it also depends on when Right. You eat raw. Right. What you, time of the day? You're going to want to eat raw on an empty stomach. So whether it's during the uh, morning, I, th that's to me the easiest way to do it. I'll turn this on so we can start doing that. Okay. Um, but you're going to want to do as many things that are green as possible. If it's green, it's good. That's pretty much a good um, indicator. Indicator. So just start stuffing those in there. Okay. Um, and if it's uh, a lemon or a lime, it's also in your best interest as well. Lemon and lime, even though it sounds like it's working against you, it's, uh, it helps your body be more alkaline and not acidic. So if you have problems with acid, lemons and limes are actually in your best interest. Now, what we're putting in here is um, we've got some we've got, cucumbers, yep. apples, green apples. Yep. Um, we've we've got, got a lemon. Yep. And you, I think you, it's gone. You put the... Uh, what? You put the ginger in there already too. Can you smell oh, it? Sorry. Oh no, it's I was just awesome. grabbing stuff. No, that's the best way to juice. People have their rules about what has to go in there, what level, and what time, and and see all the fun colors are coming out. The more colors, the better. Now here's the thing. Um, yep. This particular juicer, if you notice, we're not taking any of the rinds off no. or anything like I that. I took off I mean, the rind for the lemon because it wasn't an organic lemon, which is di more difficult to find in this town than you would think. Ooh, that looks cool. Oh, isn't good. it gorgeous? Yes. Now, I also know a trick that, did you know your juice will taste better when it's in a wine glass? I did not know that. <laughs> I know it probably feels better to yep. drink, right? Yeah. Thank Look, you. It also looks like wine. So oh, it's... my gosh. Look at that. That is I know, gorgeous. Isn't that awesome? This was pretty simple. Um, you could, I guess you could put in all different types of fruits, yep. whatever tastes good, but, but you, you said want. that a lot of people are actually doing more of the sweet fruits because they yes. like that taste, and that's not a good thing. If you're doing too much sweet and not enough greens, what's going to happen is you're going to bloat and you can potentially gain weight, Ooh. which is the opposite of what most people want to do right. when they're doing that. Now, this is a smoothie. The difference between smoothies and juicing is the only difference is the fiber. Both of them make the vitamins in there more bioavailable mm -hmm. because they break them up. Well, that's because is all of our fiber just went in here, right? Yep. All right. the fiber's right there. Yeah. This in is going to keep bucket. the fiber. So if you need to push things through your system a little bit faster, this is the way to go. Ooh, what These are dates. In there? Okay. That's just for a little bit of sweetness. These are frozen bananas. And ah. the reason you want to freeze them is it helps break down the, uh, the fibrous piece of that. And a lot of people have difficulty breaking that sugar now. Okay. Plus, it kind of makes it more of cold and yep. refreshing, don't you think? Yep. And uh, that is? A little bit of coconut water, but just a little. You don't want to do all coconut water again. you got to watch your sugars with all of this. I think that is a big mistake that people yep. make because if they're t trying to juice, they want it, obviously, to taste good. But I have to tell you something. This tastes perfect. Oh, good. It's just not too sweet and it's not too tart. It's got a little bit of both in there. And then we're going to do lemon. Again, lemon and lime is in your best interest because it helps alkaline your body. The more alkaline your body is and the more alkaline foods you're eating, the more likely you are to be able to fight illness and um, reverse it. Now, is this considered a meal? Uh, you can consider it a meal if you do it right. Now, with you do, if you're doing correct uh, proteins in there, mm -hmm. um, and this one is a raw protein, which means nothing's been cooked above 118 degrees. Uh, this one has no soy in it either, which I don't recommend. People do a lot of soy. So raw doesn't necessarily mean cold and right out of the ground. No. It could be cooked or steamed. Yes. But over 118 does what? What happens after that? You start to change the molecular structure of the of the food, so it breaks it down. It takes away most, if not all, of the vitamins that are water soluble. So like vitamin C disappears from the food, oh. and all of the food's natural enzymes start to go away as well, which means your body isn't going to be able to break it down as well either. Hmm. So you get most of the nutrients in it when it's raw. Okay. And again, it doesn't have to be cold. It just can't be above 118 degrees. So you can actually cook it to 118, but uh, and eat it. I, that's pretty hot yeah. still. I mean, yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, well, we're in Arizona. We yes. know what 118 <laughs> feels like. Just go outside. We all yeah. know what 118. And feels honestly, like. okay. you could use the outside, and that's a whole other story. But <laughs> let me just quickly turn this on. Okay, go ahead. Um, and is this like an emulsifier? It's a high-powered blender. Okay. It's basically a less expensive version of a Vitamix. Okay. But it does the same thing. As you can see, it's breaking down all of the, uh, the fibers and everything in the greens and make it more bioavailable, which means you can absorb it better. Did you have um, 
ice in there? I just threw some ice okay. in because um, oh, let me see it, if I have. It's a little weird cups. to okay. some people, of course. And again, when they're fun cups, they taste better. Oh. Mm. This is amazing. And it's green. It's I mean, so amazing. Honestly, and it's got the protein and it's everything. It's got all the protein. It has all the everything that you need Where in there. Where did you get this? This is that. I'm what a huge fan in of that company. Look um, at that. You see that right that there? Particular that particular flavor has no soy in it. Some of their other ones do. So read the ingredients if soy okay. is an issue for you. Excellent. But otherwise, nothing in there is above 118. Yummy! I'm having breakfast Fine. already, and it's healthy, and it's raw, and it's good for you. So um, coming up next, you're you're going to put together a, a rice bowl. Yep, and it's going to be raw, which I know sounds crazy, but I'll explain how that works. Raw rice. Yeah. Can't wait.